lovely Sagittarius. Welcome to All Is Mine Tarot. Today we will be doing a reading on what makes you so amazing. I figured I wanted to do something a little different than a traditional love reading for Valentine's Day, so I'm really excited about these. So the cards have already been pre-shuffled with your energies here. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Spirit, please give us clear, guided, and divine insight for what makes our lovely Sagittarius so amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I'm liking what I see already. Okay. <clears throat> wow, so you got five. So on the, bot on the bottom of the deck here, we have Reclaim. I feel like you are the type of person to really take your power back from any situation here. I feel like you're very strong. You're very empowered. I feel like... I feel like you just really stand up for yourself and your beliefs and what is true to you here. And I absolutely love that. All right, let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> so we have transmute. So I feel like you are the type of person to really neutralize any type of situation. If there's any drama within your family or in the workplace here, I feel like you, just your presence alone. I don't even feel like you have to say anything, Sash, but of course I'm sure you do. But I feel like your presence alone here just automatically transmutes any negative energy, anything that's, you know, out of place. I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like this is also like part of like your intuitive gifts here. I'm also hearing something about Queen B. You might have Queen B energy as well here. And I feel like that is definitely one of your superpowers and strengths is really shifting the energy in the room or in any regards here. Oh, wow. And then we have death. I feel like you are constantly growing, learning, transforming. I feel like I feel like you're always rebirthing yourself here and also I'm hearing that you have no problem ending situations that no longer serve you. I feel like you inspire other people to do the same when they see you empower yourself like that, which is super amazing and super beautiful. I really love it. <clears throat> and then we have ancestors. Wow. And we have like the world here too. I feel like, I feel like you find a lot of enjoyment and spirituality in traveling, seeing the world seeing new things here I feel like you also probably really enjoy being in nature I feel like that's where you connect the most with your spirit team your spirit guides mother nature here I also feel like you have a very strong team of ancestors who protect you and guide you as well <clears throat> And then we also have Get Wild. This is an absolute perfect card for Sagittarius here. Every Sagittarius that I know, I absolutely adore here. And they are so, uh, they're just like a breath of fresh air in any situation. I feel like Sagittarius really help me tap into my more fun wild side. And I feel like that is definitely one of your gifts, Sag. You know how to get wild. You know how to free yourself you're a free spirit yourself you know what I mean I feel like you march to the beat of your own drum and you don't care who's looking or who's you know talking you don't care because you are so wild and free and it is 
beautiful. It's a very beautiful trait to have, my dears. And then we have the warrior. Yeah, this is totally you. Totally. I feel like you are not afraid to speak your truth, Sag. You're not afraid to <clears throat> stand up. You're not afraid to go to battle in any sense. Like if there is any type of you know, argument or something going down, you step in here with your warrior energy and you really just take charge of the situation. I feel like you tell people how things are, like how it's going to be. <clears throat> so let's just put that one right there. Super powerful energy so far, my loves. I really love it. Oh my gosh, Sag, stop. Look at that. It's you at the bottom of the deck. So also what makes you so amazing is how balanced you are, how patient you are. And I feel like, I just feel like you really transfer that energy to people around you. And I just, uh, is super beautiful I swear this wasn't planned either I, I literally I pre-shuffled my cards here I did call in your energy of course but um I was not expecting temperance to be at the bottom of the deck here sorry I lost a couple cards already shoot give me one second no I don't want to roll over them with my chair okay so let's start that over here. I'm going to give it a quick shuffle real quick. One more. All right. Let's see what the tarot has to say about what makes you so amazing, Sag. What else makes our lovely Sagittarius so amazing? So we will start with these. <clears throat> so we have the Hierophant here. I feel like you are so future forward. I feel like you're always trying to expand your mind. I feel like um, I'm also hearing that you love to learn about other cultures here and how they do things. I feel like that's also in turn with um, you traveling it's like <clears throat> you enjoy seeing the world and really taking in their culture their values um, you know even trying their foods and seeing how they live and I feel like um, you also share this wisdom too it's like people love to hear your magical stories I feel like you know I feel like you might even be um I feel like you also might live your life in a sort of traditional sense as well. <clears throat> wow, oh my gosh. Sag, look at you, we have the star. I feel like you also are, um, your energy is very healing to people whether you realize it or not. I feel like you also inspire people to, to maintain hopeful or to find um, their own faith here. I feel like also um, I'm hearing um, your energy really lights other people up as well. It's like people look at you as like this beautiful energy, like a star, a shining star. I mean, you very well might um, have some sort of like fame um, but only take that if it resonates. You might be also seen on some sort of a platform potentially but you definitely have this really beautiful star energy star like qualities within your your vibration your frequency here and then we have the page of swords so <clears throat> i feel like part of also what makes you so amazing is how you're always wanting to learn you're always wanting to expand just like with this hierophant here I feel like too you're very witty you're very charming I feel like <clears throat> your energy is just really exciting 
is what it feels like. I feel like also too, I feel like people love to know what you're up to, what you're going to do next here in your life. Like people get excited about hearing about your journeys and your endeavors and what your plans are. And this is also like, um, signifying like how intelligent you are as well and then we have the five of swords yeah it's like this lines up with this warrior energy right here you're not afraid to speak your mind you're not afraid to go to battle here and I feel like you also stick up for your loved ones I feel like <clears throat> I feel like you can also be very sharp with your your tongue, but only when you feel like it's absolutely necessary. Let's see, what else makes our lovely Sagittarius so amazing? Yeah, the card of travel, seeing into the future, um, higher potential, like you love to see what's out there <clears throat> you love to plan for your trips your vacations I feel like you're always thinking about the next uh thing or place you can go visit here <clears throat> the next thing that you can go learn about and see let's get one more oh yeah okay <clears throat> so another thing that makes you so amazing here is your hard work your your time energy and effort that you put into things I feel like you plant seeds for your future or you are plant planting seeds as we speak and I feel like <clears throat> you're just really setting yourself up for success here and I feel like too this is also another card of like patience um, I do feel like you're a very patient, a very giving, loving, nurturing person. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know. I wear a lot of lotions and I like play with my cards and, you know, these matte black cards. It's like I'm totally seeing it everywhere. So my bad, Sag. <laughs> okay, now, so I wanted to close this reading out to see what some of your gifts and your strengths are here what are some of Sagittarius gifts and strengths oh yeah Got a few more we get one more here okay Ooh, at the bottom we have magnetism <clears throat> You have a natural ability to make others come after you, possessing a powerful aura that makes it difficult to stay away. Yeah, it's like people are very drawn to your energy, Sag. It's it's really excitable. It's refreshing. Um, it's just a really beautiful, fun, playful energy here. And I feel like you also, um, I'm hearing you really love to share as well whether that be your time your energy your effort your food anything <clears throat> okay so we have two sides you have two extreme sides to you but yet with much grace and poise this ability gives you an, an advantage by keeping them in wonder yeah it's like and this reminds me of like the star card or like um the temperance card here it's like you blend two things together here you have two or probably way more than two um facets to your energy then I feel like you are you're super dynamic Sag I feel like you know when to tap into what you know what I mean like you know when to be funny you know when to be serious you know when to be playful you know you know that you want to have a good time after you've been working hard you know like super uh, multifaceted being here okay and then we have mind power you're a higher level soul with a mission to create transformation in people's minds so their emotions can come into balance yeah this is exactly like the temperance card as well and it's again with these you know pouring and um mixing type of energies here it's like 
you and also this transmutation card wherever it is um it's one of these i think it's this one no death no it's this one um it's the same thing with that transmutation card it's like you really shift the vibration around you and within yourself it's like your natural um it's almost like you have a naturally cleansing aura something about you here <clears throat> and then we have wild card you're unpredictable and your qualities are uncertain you can't be held down nobody knows what to expect from you not even you a jack of all trades yeah and it's interesting because they they call like gemini's the jack of all trades and that is your your polar opposite here but you also embody those same traits and you, it's so interesting you get two wild cards here i feel like you definitely you know how to be in front of a crowd you know i don't feel like you're shy at all sag i feel like you just go out there and do your thing baby and i feel like that's part of your wild traits like your fun nature your alluring nature and then we have daydreamer you can use your imagination and creativity to create a wall a wide array of routes to success and build your dreams to live an abundant life yeah i feel like you have a lot of beautiful dreams that you're um you're manifesting right now it's like you're you're putting your dreams into the 3d and we have crystal child <clears throat> You're here to up uplift the planet of harsh energy, bringing forth healing and peace, and also assist humanity in soul growth and evolution. Yeah, that's two cards um, about soul growth and evolution. Um, but you might love crystals. You might work with crystals. Um, if you don't, maybe this is a sign to, you know, see what calls to you. But I feel like, yes, it's like this also goes with that transmutation card. Um, I just feel like you really shift the energy around you here. Like everyone in within your vicinity. And we have Dream Girl. You have many options in love, and that puts you in a place of power. You're their dream girl, the ultimate prize to win. Yeah, I feel like whether you're male or female here, I feel like all these qualities that you exude really attracts many suitors of all kinds here and I feel like because you're so empowered and you've really reclaimed your energy here and you know how to keep moving and you're so just expansive and you're about your higher knowledge and your wisdom here I feel like that is just a really attractive quality about you and then we have oh my gosh dude check that out we have warrior again double warrior double wild card you're like the wild warrior sag i love it it says you have a warrior spirit not afraid to face conflict and challenges while at the same time remain committed to a path of goodwill and fairness boom yeah this is just this whole reading is so sagittarius and i'm obsessed with it um yeah you're just a really stand out person sag and thank you for always being you because i love your energy Alrighty, well hopefully you enjoyed this reading thank you for stopping by and i will catch you on the next one feel free to comment down below like share subscribe bye sag